everyone it's Catherine and I'm sorry I'm kind of whispering but my whole family is asleep I kind of still just wanted to get this video up partly for myself and just to motivate me to keep going and partly because this is gonna be a two-part once I get it all finished I will do a proper tour so I'm going to kind of take you around and show you what I've been doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen some photos of this. Um, this whole thing was like jam packed with stuff. And it really just the whole room was. We moved a lot of stuff from Kauai and that's when things kind of spiraled out of control it just I put the boxes in here because I just couldn't like deal with it and then the holidays hit and stuff started getting stacked on top of other stuff and I was hiding presents in here and it was just crazy so yeah I've just been taking everything out there have been like two bags of trash a bag of donate and maybe like six or seven bags of recycling um, paper and cardboard and just stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what's going on. These, there's four of them in here and they all have fabric in them. I have set aside some to donate. I've set aside some that like I'm making stuff for my friend so I put that in the other room with all of her other presents and then there is fabric in here and in here but I want to do away with that storage um, I think that when everything kind of looks the same it just it looks better and I don't know it just functions better so yeah then I have stuff like this where there's not really a good spot to put it anywhere this I have to be careful with. I have like a very fancy sewing machine and it can do embroidery and this like thing is kind of a big deal. And then this is like one of the hoops for it. So I, I need to figure something out for that. That might just have to stay there. Um, then these are all of my stamps. I They're not all filled in yet. So I have room to grow, but I can show you what I've done with them once they're finished because I kind of just put the pockets in there and put the stamps in there and walked away just to get them out of the containers that they were in and this is actually working really really well if you like these these are like the mini binders so this is like an A6 size and I got these Target and Staples and Office Max have like different ones I'm not like a big fan of those I think they were Office Max yeah, but I'm going to put stickers in those. Um, some of my printed Money Lay planners. And I want to try to find some sort of like a shelf for these. Because these buckets here, if I could find a, a shelf that just goes like at the halfway point, I could fit two of those. And that would be awesome. And then as you can see, these go too deep perfectly so I want to try to find some sort of a shelf that's not too high um, that I can put in there so that I can put the ones in the back on one just so that I can see like the label so I know what's in those ones because when you can't see things that's when stuff kind of gets lost these are paper containers and I get them at Daiso the ones on the end I wish so badly I could get more of but they're like impossible to find um, that down there is just stuff I've set aside that I just, I can't make work anymore. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want it. My son is over the moon with it though. So he's going to have his own little thing in there. So when I'm in here crafting, he can be in here with me. And those are just like, um, blocking squares for if you knit or crochet. Um, you have to block the piece usually when it's done. So those are for that. And then all of these, I emptied every last one. Let me see. I emptied every last one so I'm not sure how I'm going to organize them I will figure something out um, I have some of my hoops hanging out there and then like this 
this is fabric that kind of can't be folded. This is um, like a polyurethane coated um, cotton. I want to make raincoats because I have disproportionate limbs. So most every coat, shirt, sweater does not fit my arms. Um, and then I have kind of a regular sized torso. So, and then I have a weird obsession with contact paper. But I have these ones here and I'm gonna line these drawers with them. I'm going to line the drawers in this with that one, the drawers in that, and then that one with the one on top. And I already did that one with that one. So I'm just both desks for consistency's sake. This is something I got these, like it's plastic at um, Ikea and then I use spray adhesive and this is a gift wrap from Target from a million years ago but it's like peeling back now it's it's lived its life so I want like a vinyl photo backdrop like a piece of vinyl and I'm gonna put it on the desk and I want one for the other one partly for filming and then partly just to kind of protect it because it's Ikea furniture and it gets kind of scratched up so yeah I don't know if that there display is gonna stay I feel like it doesn't really fit on the desk, so we'll see. My washi towers, I have been purging a lot of washi. I have um, stuff, again, it was shipped from Hawaii and ultimately sitting in a cargo ship, it didn't really survive. So it just turned to a solid mess of glue. And this is kind of, I just like everything. I took everything out of the drawers and like this whole thing was emptied and I've been pulling stuff from everywhere and I've been just putting in these two bins and then kind of emptying from there. This is my sewing table. It collapses. I got it at Joann's. Um, I do like it. The humongous cutting mat in the back actually fits this whole table. These two shelves I got at Target and they're like dollhouse cubby, I think is what it is. That's what they call them. There are some construction issues, so I'm going to have to like fix it. But um, these are not the ones from the dollar spot. These are significantly larger. I do have some dollar spot ones. They are downstairs. I want to spray paint them just because they were really just scratched um, pretty badly. I They come in all sorts of colors. So if you're looking for white, don't look for just white, even though that's what you see all over Instagram. They come in like this hideous lime green, really dark blue, red, pink, like all the colors, purple. So yeah, I bought like four of them and I'm gonna do like a whole thing on the wall. Um, as I use these up, I am just not buying more of these things. Well, maybe some of like the Hello Kitty stuff when I go away. And I get these at ABC store or Long Strokes when I'm in Hawaii. So I have different stuff in there. And then um, these are kind of all my Hello Kitty ones and oh, Las Vegas has the Hello Kitty ones too and some page likes. So these are just some basic ones. A lot of the Target ones, I just, they're, the quality is good, not great. Um, so I'm probably not going to buy those anymore. Okay. And then these are like sets. I had a hard time figuring out how to organize this. So this is just what it looks like for now. And then the, the booklets. I love Pip Studios. They're um, out of the UK. So like these are in here and I do like to like glue these to my pages and my planner because um, it's a space to write and it's cute so it's kind of does everything with decor. Oh, and I find these at like World Market. So yeah. And I think you can find them on Amazon. This one is Daiso. Oh, yeah. So um, I'm not going to go through all of them. That one is my favorite, though. We can do that another day. Then just my notepads. Those are all Target Dollar Spot. The notepads are fine. Um, but I am trying to scale back. That's why there's so few in there. My stickers, I kind of just threw every sticker, every label that I had in there, no matter what kind it was, I just threw them all in there and I will 
figure that out at another time. And then I realized like these things aren't getting used because I can't find them. So I'm putting my seasonal stuff separate. And it's, as you can see, it's all just kind of thrown in there for now. And then all of my seasonal stickers. And I just put the Valentine's Day stuff on top. But yeah, like I had Christmas stuff in here that I didn't realize. And I don't like that. And then I just have like a bunch of punches. This one's kind of going to be... 10 times the work. This is where I keep like subscription box stuff. And right now I think I really only even have Mummy Lay stuff in here. Ooh, uh, this is my Disney drawer, I forgot about that. And then I just started throwing ring bound stuff in there. So that is all Disney, but I think like the next several drawers are Mummy Lay, Mummy Lay. Samson, ooh, that is for boning for corsets. Yeah, so I, oh, that's weird. So there's, I won't even show you the top two drawers because they're scary. 1407 planners and hair clips. Yeah, and oh, I think it just threw stuff in there. This is from Pretty and Pink Supply. They have awesome stuff. Yeah. So I have like too much stuff and yeah, there's going to be a lot of purging and I kind of just like threw those on top and I feel really horrible about that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through and a lot of the notebooks are going to my kid. Um, anything really pretty or cute, I will set aside for like my mom, my sister, my best friend. And um, yeah, some stuff will probably get donated to my son's school. If I, uh, there was a lot of stuff that just, a lot of paper stuff that molded from just transit um and sitting in hawaii so um those pretty boxes are actually filled with yarn so i have my small collection of synthetic and that's the good stuff <laughs> um mostly like silk alpaca stuff like that um so yeah i need to get to work because i have like a bunch of stuff i want to do and then this is all sewing related stuff so um, I don't want to horrify you, but like this stuff is probably going to change because I don't use my ribbon just for sewing. It's actually more general crafting, so like the ribbon stuff will probably end up in there so that I can make planner things and hair things and stuff like that. And then like, I have a lot of, a lot of zippers. Um, yeah, don't ask. And... Ooh, if you ever have a chance to go to the store in New York City, definitely go. Um, this is just like lace for petticoats and stuff like that. Under dresses. Okay, yeah. So this, if you don't sew, like, this is not exciting. It's really not. My weird collection of many scissors. There's a scissor for every occasion. Oh, and I, I sew. So, um... Yeah, I have the pieces cut out for a Traveler's Notebook there. Pretty excited about this one. Um, if you like Foxy Fix, the this leather is on par with some of theirs. So, yes, I have a leather supplier that is local, and she is amazing. And I'll get it, like, the next day or so. So, yeah, some of these are need to be made into stuff for my sister. So... Oh, and I just have to say it like, oh, I love that machine. It's the first one I ever purchased for myself and I will never get rid of it. And my son's very excited to learn on that one. And it, it is crazy because that machine, it is like a junky little machine and it has survived all sorts of nonsense. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say I made maternity jeans with that because again, like I have a 37 inch inseam. So you try to find pants that long. They just really don't exist. And they 100% don't exist in maternity wear. So, yeah. I kind of had to make my own. And that threw, sewed through so many layers of denim and stuff. It's nuts. So, yes. I cannot speak more highly for that tiny little machine. It's amazing. Yeah. So, um, that's it for now. And... Come back later and hopefully this won't be so 
horrible. Um, oh, and just to like use up some of my supplies because I just have way too much going on. I have this fabric. It was like a weird thing. Yeah, recycling. Um, I, I had this fabric and I don't know, like the lady and I at the store were talking about it and she was like, well, if you don't buy it, I'm buying it because there was like a sale and a coupon and everything else. It was still obnoxiously expensive, but I bought like almost the whole bolt. So I have enough. It's hung over the door. I have like a piece of fleece underneath it to protect it. But, um, so there's quite a lot. I'm going to do curtains. I'm going to take like the heating, it like, yeah, it comes off. So I am just going to do curtains over this, big bows on the side, tie backs. Um, they're not really meant to be functional, it's just decorative. Ooh, and one other thing, like seriously, oh my gosh, I love it. My husband's like, it doesn't look good. I'm like, of course it looks good. I have room for more. Um, and he like he doesn't understand moving around the fl flowers but it's very, actually very practical because when my table is open I turn it like the other way I turn it 90 degrees so it like stops right underneath the light switch so I'd be like right there for all of my rulers it's great okay I'll let you guys go assuming you like stuck around this long all right bye